Sometimes we ask a young man, do you want to be a priest? Well, really, the answer is that any Catholic man who knows what a priest is should want to be a priest. The question that comes after that is, is the Lord calling me to be a priest? This is the church that the Lord has given us, that all of us are baptized as uh, uh, priests who offer sacrifice to our Lord and are given that, that vocation by our baptism. But some are called uh, to the ministerial priesthood to, uh, to support uh, all of the baptized in making those sacrifices. I think it's a common for a, a young man who loves his Catholic faith, loves the priesthood, to say, you know, it's got to be somebody else, or, you know, I, I'll, I'll get married and then there'll be, the, you know, somebody will, will take up the reins and, and be a priest, as opposed to saying, you know, if I know that there's an issue, I know that someone needs to step forward, then, then um, we'll be willing to say, I, I've got to do this. Sometimes, I think all of us felt and the young men that we're working with now have this sense, I'm not holy enough, I'm not smart enough, um, there's plenty other people that God could be calling. But to realize that our relationship with God is so important and so personal, and Jesus Christ is calling each of us to a vocation and through a relationship with Christ, especially through the sacraments, we gain a better understanding of how to move forward in our discernment. Oftentimes they may think, I am not good enough. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, no one is. But it's by God's grace that makes us worthy. And we look at the, the people Jesus chose in his own ministry, the apostles, that they weren't perfect people either, and the saints throughout the centuries. But like St. Paul says, uh, it is by his grace that I am what I am. I can't think of anything that would actually make me happier. To get up every day and to realize that you're being called to put into practice this vision, uh, which is beyond you, it's greater than you, has a 2,000 year history uh, that has gone through every storm, trial, and difficulty, and yet is marching still into the future. To be a priest, you know, demands a lot. If you take seriously this ministry, this vocation, it really demands a lot from our bodies, from our minds, and from our spirits. And so my role as a priest is not to make others like me and duplicate my vocational story, but my ministry as a priest is to help people be themselves. A candidate for the priesthood is someone who who knows that our world is desperate for Jesus Christ, is hurting, um, that knows that the salvation of souls is of utmost priority, what could be more important, and wants to be a part of that solution, that doesn't want to farm it out to someone else, but just says, I will be a part of that solution. That's fundamentally what it is. And it takes generosity, it takes magnanimity, it takes, again, it's greatness of spirit to say, to say I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lay down my life that others may have life. One of the problems with discernment, the word discernment is, is how it's used or how it's phrased. We'll ask a young man and say, is God calling you to be a priest? Do you have a vocation to the priesthood? And it's almost as if we're asking this young man, to, does he have this mysterious thing that he has to go on a quest for? He's not even sure what it would be if he found it. Better to phrase it like this, Jesus Christ is asking young men in every generation, some of them, to step forward and to follow him in a really unique way so that souls can be saved. Are you going to respond? Will you be one of the men in your generation to respond to that call? Um, because someone has to. Souls, the souls are out there to be saved. And so in that way, it's more of a challenge. And then part of the discernment involves us who represent the church to say, okay, do you have the requisite qualities needed? Can we form those in you? But the first and foremost is there's a challenge. There's a call that is echoing down the centuries. Christ is asking some young men to step up, step forward, and do you want to be one of those? Like, will you, I dare you to be one of those. 
I mean, it begins with a conversation. It begins with a young man saying, okay, I'm gonna make that call. Or I'm gonna send that email. I've been hesitating on doing that, but I've just gotta start a conversation, whether that be with my pastor, whether they be one of the members of this team. The point is, you've gotta step forward and, and, and say, okay, I'm ready to take um, the initiative myself. As I talk to young men who are discerning the priesthood, they wonder, um, can they still have their, like their hobbies, or can they still do the things that make them who they are? And that's the wonderful thing about diocesan priesthood, is that we are still our own individuals, but we share a commonality, a sense of ministry, a reality of ministry with the local bishop in ministering to the people of a particular region. Again, in vocations, it can be scary, but remember, it's not like you're signing your life away. It's not like you're joining the military and you have to commit. You say yes to going to seminary. You say yes to exploring the idea of a vocation. And many men are scared because they're not sure if they're called to be a priest or not. Well, honestly, you can't know until you go to seminary, until the church examines you, until you're in formation. You don't need to know that. You don't need to be sure. But I'd say if there's an inkling in your heart, if there's a, if there's a desire to do this, I think it's very important to say yes to that. Uh, but we need priests because we need the sacraments, especially the Eucharist. The people need the life of God. They need the mercy of God. So vocations are so important because people need Jesus and the priest is the privileged instrument of Jesus through giving the sacraments. Every Catholic has a responsibility to promote vocations, particularly through prayer. Um, this is something that our Lord has asked us to do, not as a special devotion or not just something to do for our own good, although it certainly is that because we all need priests. Um, but uh, he gave it to us as a command, pray to the Lord to send out laborers for his harvest. And you know, there's an easy way to do that and there's a hard way to do that. The easy way is to do uh, that and no more. To say, Lord, uh, I need a priest to come from somewhere to where I am and care for my soul in whatever stage of life I'm in. Uh, the hard way, which I would challenge all of the people in our diocese to do, is to pray, may the Lord raise up a vocation from my own community, from my own parish, and if you dare, from my own family uh, to serve the church here in this diocese. Without vocations to the priesthood, without priests, eventually there's no Mass. Without Mass, there's no Eucharist to be received by the faithful. And same thing with without priests, there's no opportunity for confession. So as we um, experience a vocation shortage, ultimately, you know, that comes into jeopardy is, you know, the holy sacrifice of the mass, the opportunity to celebrate confession, anointing of the sick, those sac the sacramental life of the church and of the faithful, you know, is in jeopardy. Our Lord is inviting us to help him bear his cross and he will provide the joy He'll, he will provide the reward in his own due time wherever the catholic faith is lived robustly fully uncompromisingly vocations are almost the natural result of that so one of the best ways of promoting a culture of vocations in the diocese is for all of us to live the catholic faith fully um, and appreciate the gifts that god has given us in the priesthood and then of course want to make sure that those are provided for the next generation. If you're a young man in the Diocese of Rochester, if you receive the faith here in the Diocese of Rochester and receive the sacraments here, will you help us to make sure that the next generation receives the sacraments as well? Would you be willing to, to step forward and lay down your life uh, to join us in the brotherhood of the priesthood um, so that others may have life? <laughs>